Hey, I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect, and welcome to this tutorial about precise bottling in Blender. Let's talk about custom orientation systems uh, in Blender and how it can, uh, how using them can make your life a lot easier when you have to work with a precise modeling workflows. I was giving a live workshop last week about precise modeling with Blender and one of the students with a background in AutoCAD asked me if Blender had anything similar to the UCS system of AutoCAD. What is the UCS system of AutoCAD? It's an acronym for User Coordinate System and you can re uh, realign it with any surface on your 3D project. And in Blender, we have something quite similar that will uh, make your life a lot easier, like I said, uh, when working with uh, custom angled faces, like this project that I have here. It's like a small custom Lego piece that you can use for 3D printing. And as you can notice here, I have the CAD for this object. I have the side view and the front view. I do have the same drawing in QCAD. I do not have any reference for the angle of this line here. With a CAD software or with something like QCAD, I can easily measure this angle here, but let's pretend that you do not have access to the CAD file. Someone will send you uh, the PDF or an image of this object. And we have to find a way to uh, create this design. Of course, there are many different ways to create this in Blender. Let's see one of the ways that you can uh, use Blender resources to create this with a custom coordinate system or a custom transform orientation. Now, the challenge here is to create those uh, four cylinders. Each one of the cylinders, I have it uh, with uh, eight millimeters as the height for each one of the cylinders. They have uh, 4.5 millimeters as radius, and they are three millimeters from the border of each one of the sides for this object. I have the dimension lines here, and we can start the process to create those elements here in Blender. I never, uh, I think I never uh, actually created or made a tutorial about this process in Blender. So let's start. Let's get started. The first thing, let's double check to see if everything is using the correct measurements. I have my units here set to millimeters. And we can uh, use some quick measurements. I'll be using the Blender ruler. Press and hold the control key just to measure the sides. This is 32 per 30 by 32 and 28 millimeters. Everything seems to check. 32, 32, 28, 45. Great, we can uh, keep going. The next thing that I'll be doing is to create here in edit mode, I will select this face and we can create a custom orientation or a custom transform orientation. If you select something like a plane, like this one here, and open your transform orientations, you will see that we have a plus sign here. When you have something selected, you can click on this plus sign and Blender will create a new transform orientation based on your selection. In my case, I will call this top face. And if I select this top face now and start something like the move tool, you will see that the gizmo will align with that surface. Now I can uh, move my 3D cursor, align my 3D cursor with this object, pressing Shift S, cursor to select it. And the 3D cursor is at the center of this face. Now, if I press the seven on my numeric keyboard, it will move my view to the top, but I need Blender to align my view with this selected face. And to do that, you will be using a different shortcut. If you press Shift-7, you will align your view to the selected face. As you can see, we have our view aligned to that face. 
I'll be going into object mode now and we can create a circle. We can start with a circle, which uh, it is much uh, a lot easier to create those cylinders with a simple extrude. So I will press shift A, mesh circle. And using this small menu here on the lower left corner, we can make some changes. For instance, the radius, if you don't remember, it's 4.5, so 4.5. And uh, if you move your view here, you will see that Blender created this, this circle based on the global orientation system, but we need it to align with the view. So let's remove, delete this circle, press shift seven again. And if I press now shift a, let's create another circle. And here I will change the align to view. And if you change to view, Blender will align your circle to your current view which is exactly what we need for this uh, plane. Now, if I uh, try to move this object here, let's reduce this, the number of subdivisions to 12 or the number of vertices. And I will move my object now to the top. Since I'm using the top face as the transform orientation, you can see that I can easily move it over this angled face. And if I press the G key, the B key, I can grab this vertex here and move it on the Y axis. Just press the Y key. I will try to move it here. I will press G and B again to grab a snap base. Click on this vertex, press the X key so I can align it with this corner. And as you can notice, I just moved this circle to the corner. If I press the tab key to enter edit mode, make sure you, you are using the vertex as your selected element, press the F key. And now you can extrude it eight millimeters. Just type eight and we created our first cylinder. If you type now GY type three to move it three millimeters uh, on the Y axis, press GX minus three. we just created our first cylinder. If you want to double check to see the measurements, you can measure the height of this cylinder, eight millimeters. You can measure this distance here from the border, three millimeters, which, uh, ma with, uh, which uh, matches our reference drawing. And I can also measure this point from here to here. I have a small difference. Let's see if it's due to the alignment. Let's move it again. G, X, B to grab a snap base. And I will move it on the Y axis as close as possible to this reference. Now, GY3, and we can measure it again. Now it's working perfectly. And instead of making more tree, objects or more three circles another three cir uh, another three cylinders we can uh, create a mirrored copy of those objects i'll just move our origin point to the same location of the 3d cursor 
go to object set origin origin to 3d, to 3D cursor press shift d ask Control m to use the interactive mirror and this one will use the x axis so press the x key enter i'll be repeating the same process shift d ask Control m y to create another copy on the y axis so we have our cylinders if you want you can start measuring other parts of this drawing but it will probably match what we have in the reference design and again i'm using a custom orientation from the top face look how easy it was to create this reference three millimeters from the border as expected as expected and this is it this is how to use custom transform orientations in blender to help you with precise modeling workflows in case you want to learn more about precise modeling in blender i do have an online workshop precise modeling uh, with blender 4.2 which uh, also works with blender 4.3 links in the description uh, enrolling in the workshop helps and support my work here in blender 3d architect whenever you have this type of design whenever you have this type of project always try to use a custom orientation system to help you uh, to help uh, with uh, transformations in uh, those cases i hope you like this tutorial uh, in case you find it uh, found it useful please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future tutorials see you next time bye